Surf Monkey Coconut. Hey everyone, it's been a while. My bad. Lots of great comments and questions lately. A few really good questions and I probably will do an upcoming video focusing on some of those topics coming up. But if you have a question for now, take a look at the comment section of the video. You have a question for lots of great information down there. But for now, I have a whole mess of videos coming up regarding cigar rolling and there's a lot of ground to cover so keep an eye out for those as I start posting them in the next couple days. Um, this is going to be a really quick video about everything I know about humidor, so let's get started. A humidor is going to be required for 99% of us once you get your tobacco leaves rolled into a cigar. Uh, this is a standard, inexpensive cedar-lined humidor. It just so happens to be from Cuban Crafters, and I bought it because it came with about 15 cigars. At the time, I was just getting into the hobby, and it was a good deal. Um, so if you're looking for a humidor, uh, be sure to check all the online cigar sites, compare prices and packages, and um, there's always a cigar package humidor deal to be had out there, so be sure to um, keep an eye out for that. Now, a humidor is just a device that will maintain a moderate level of humidity for your cigars. It doesn't have to be a store-bought humidor like this. It can be a large Tupperware container, or even a cooler or a Ziploc bag. All it has to do is be sealable. Um, another thing you're going to need is a humidity monitoring device like this hygrometer. Um, you're also going to need some uh, moisture retaining device, um, something as simple as a shot glass like this with um, humidity beads, or you can use the standard humidity puck that comes into, in with um, any normal standard humidor. In both the cases of this uh, shot glass and um, uh, humidor puck, what I used is something called humidity pellets, which works like a uh, like very similar to those desiccant packets that come with food to help preserve the food and keep them dry. Um, this works in the exact opposite way where these will actually, um, you charge these with uh, um, distilled water and um, they'll actually absorb the humidity and then they'll let it off at a designed rate of 75%. Now um, if you take a look at any of those cigar sites online or even your local cigar shop, um, they have gel packets and tubes um, that do the exact same thing. So any of these fancy humidification um, substances can be replaced by you know, simple sponges or fluorofoam. Um, the idea is that you just want to keep it in a container like the shot glass so that it doesn't come in direct contact uh, with the cigars themselves. So all the cigars in this humidor are my cheapo cigars and I consider this humidor itself a cheapo humidor. Um, it's for my guests for when they come over and visit. They can just grab a cigar or if they leave one after a barbecue that um, they, they didn't smoke yet, I just throw it in here so they have something for next time. Uh, these donkey keys in here are pretty good. These are the ones that came with the Cuban Crafters humidor. Um, also, um, what else I have in here is um, some Nicaraguan selection from FamousCigars.com. This is their 1000 blend. The main point of a humidor is to maintain a constant 75% relative humidity environment for the storage of your cigars, which will allow um, the rolled leaves to kind of blend and mellow out within the cigars themselves. The idea is that you're essentially recreating the native climactic conditions of the tobacco plant itself, you know, where the tobacco natively grows and tastes the best. Um, if you live in a coastal, southern coastal state like Florida or Hawaii or anywhere near the equator, the relative humidity is normally about 75% anyway. Um, so just leaving it on the counter will work fine, but for the rest of us, you're going to need something like this, this humidor, or this Tupperware container. Now, this humidor comes lined with Spanish cedar, which is pretty standard for uh, most uh, humidors. Um, it's very aromatic and also acts as something known as a humidity buffer. Um, the wood itself will absorb excess moisture and will also let off humidity in times when it's uh, excessively dry. So um, if you were to charge this with um, more than the distilled water than you wanted to, it's okay because the wood will um, you know, counteract that excess moisture and absorb some of that. And um, likewise during uh, winter when we have our heaters on in the home, the air outside gets really dry. So um, the wood, if once it's saturated, will compensate for that and um, maintain that 75% humidity level within the humidor. You just have to kind of be diligent and check um, every month to make sure that you do have enough uh, humidity in your pup. Just like during fermentation, mold growth is a primary concern for your humidor. So anytime you're um, planning to touch the inside uh, areas of your humidor or even your cigar sticks themselves, especially your own hand rolled cigars, you want to make sure that you wash your hands. Also, um, be sure to always use distilled water. Uh, my preference is to keep distilled water in a spray bottle like this because you know that you won't be coming in physical contact with the distilled water within the 
um, reservoir chamber. And the last thing that I have for humidors is this really cool trick to see if the seal is working properly with your lid. And with any type of humidor with a free swinging lid like this, what you want to do is just let the lid drop. And um, what you should hear is a puff of air rather than a slam down of the, the wood slats. So let's take a listen. And you can kind of hear with this one, there's a puff and then a slight vacuum seal. So the lid comes down and then kind of slowly drops at the end. Now, if this lid kind of just went down and made a thwacking noise, then you know that there's an air gap somewhere that needs to be addressed because that air gap is where all your humidity is going to be leaking out from. So I know that you can't do that with um, an online purchased cigar humidor. You just kind of need to um, trust that they're a reputable dealer and... Um, you know, return it if a situation arises, or you're going to have to go to a physical uh, cigar shop to do your humidor purchase, which might be a better idea um, if you're planning to buy a um, $100 plus type humidor. So here's a cigarillo that I rolled two years back, right after I fermented my first batch of leaves. I actually made two cigarillos, and I smoked the first one right then and there, and it didn't taste very good, honestly. Um, so this is why this has been in my humidor for about two years. Um, but you're going to see this um, coming up in the um, next rolling videos as well as um, there's some actual boutique quality cigars which I consider um, high quality cigars. Um, I'm going to pull these out and it kind of has reference points to um, what we're aiming for uh, with our um, home road cigars. So uh, thanks everyone for watching and um, on to the main event, the rolling video. Thanks again everyone.